am uit în Zanzibar. Oh, man. It's hot as hell. Can't wait to see this eco building stuff. Preventing them from even touching it, even though this is all termite proof. Mm. You still trying to take yeah. extra precaution. The whole, the whole clue about this technology is a very simple one. I beams. You know, I beams from steel for the yeah. construction. So, we build I beams from wood. If this high tensile strength goes deep, and then you put these on the side, and then they can carry a lot of weight. That's how the whole house is built. And the city. Very, very simple technology. And the thing is, you can train untrained people in the factory, you give them a nice thing, they yeah, do yeah, the yeah. job. You use tons and tons of these things. And the better trained guys, they come here and they stand around. That's interesting. So it's also here, it's fully insulated, but you have the holes for air can circulate. Okay. The wood always needs to have circulation. Yeah. If you know, if you have a corner where it's moist, maybe it stands. That's when it breaks. Yeah, and then you have the next house. So they're putting the panels now on, and then they're closing it, and then the walls, huh? Once on a week, he's but I on Anton of Kuta. That two? That four? Yeah, fix. Yeah. And then they put the walls on. So they pre assemble these, they pre build these in the factory, and then they bring it here. This is now the walls are now half is half automatic. Later the walls will come complete with the windows inside, electricity oh, wow. inside, the with the cable and everything. everything. <laughs> so you, you are you planning to export? The target is Sansibar wants me to export, but it's not feasible. Why? It is feasible, but it's you know. But if you have, let's say, a big project in Kigali, yeah, it's much more cheap to have a workshop in Kigali, yeah. Because to bring the stuff, everything there, it's gonna be too expensive. If you want to reduce mm, some people, that you is transport costs. Transport and, costs. And, so you want to supply chain close by. And yeah, anyway, you have to train the guys to bring the it. The transport, out. Uh, where you right, but but you can put a house like this into. Because they're building the railroad. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, the last the week they signed the contract. No, uh, absolutely. We'll do that for smaller projects. Yeah. You just order 50 houses, we produce them, we put them in the containers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you want 500, it'd be better to, it'd have, be better to have a workshop. And it's good to have these workshops for all the time. But cost wise, operation costs and all, isn't that it's a, a headache? It's not. It's not, huh? It's, it's, it's because you don't need a lot of technology. You can't even license. I mean, you, you don't need to see it, huh? You say what? You don't need... You don't need no, you don't, obviously. But timber, you say how long does it take for timber to grow? Because I remember you mentioned system. bamboo. Yeah, bam we've been doing a lot of research into bamboo. Okay. But bamboo has a challenge that the, uh, the alpine bamboo you need for construction grows in quite high altitudes. So high have, altitude, yeah, okay. We, have, we haven't found the right type of bamboo we can grow here. We used to import bamboo from South Tanzania. Yeah, but bamboo still needs a little more research, so we're working on that. Okay. Our company from Germany, and uh, at the moment we're putting, we're working with fast-growing timber. That could be a cypress tree. And it has the, the, has the diameter in four or five years. We need. In four or five years, it grows. Okay. To what size? Oh wow! So this is the playground. 
all earth bags. And you say you're also looking into uh, earth... Earth uh... bricks, we're starting construction. This is earth bag building, so if you're an economy in the river, uh, it's a bit. these domes, this is a playground. This is a kiosk. Like a meter, and you have them all over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So the kids can run around in there, you know. One available, please let me know. <laughs> I mean, so, so the kids can take their books out here, go and read in there. Well, I'm serious, my dream is always to live by the beach. Tell? Yeah, oh, okay. So, that I had a lot of contact with all clients, and that's why I have my sales team and internal team is absolutely crucial. I will never get the same feedback from an external sales agent mm. like I get from my guys. Then my research, my customer care. Yeah. We started in the beginning with five house types only. Yeah, there was no apartment, there was just one bedroom, there was a three bedroom, there was a five bedroom and a six bedroom, four house types. Now we have 17. Of course, we talk to clients. And if more than one, two, three, five, five, six, eight clients buy it for the same thing, we decided. That's impressive. It's a concept. It's a whole chart. But this is not your only project for Zanzibar, right? You Zanzibar, plan Zanzibar, when Zanzibar. you finish with this, you you might have another one to expand, right? Yeah, the reason yeah, why I'm asking, the government is giving me space because I I, I I definitely want to well, invest I into. I, have, I can give you contact with sales. I can I give you contact with my sales manager. Also. Yeah. So if you want something, no, I definitely. <laughs> this this has been my dream because last time I checked, they said people cannot own foreigners cannot own land, but now you mentioned. Uh, on, on free zone they can. That's a game changer. Yes. You get the title in your own name. That's a that's a game changer. You can inherit it, you can sell it. That's but perfect. The only thing we don't allow is sub subdividing again. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you, you can take away the house and build a two story house in there. So the whole residential area is allowed two stories. Mm. This is your house. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, I don't want this once I need it bigger. So you can build. So this basically is going to become the roadmap of whatever you build in the future. So this is your first one, right? This is our first one in Africa. In Germany, in Africa. What, we, Germany what we did was remodeling existing towns. Okay. Oh, existing towns. Okay. Or townships. Yeah. So um, yeah, I, have, I didn't build it from scratch. Okay. But this is like, you know, I told you, know, this is, we are open, you know, any idea I get, any contacts I get, any partnership we get, we integrate it. I'd love to have a little like this for you here. Well, that's a small problem. I, I mean, I you know, <laughs> yeah, but you know, anything, anything. So if people say, you know, we want this, we want this, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we feel this is something that, let me design the park. I was sitting with the, with the kids of all my stuff, and I asked them, what do you want in the park? Yeah. All my staff kids, and we have 300 staff. Yeah? Uh, yeah, we want ice cream and bar. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree, man. The customers are the best uh, people yes. to give you feedback. Uh, we do the same uh, with our kiosk. Uh, they tell us what they want, and then we work on that. So I totally agree. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's amazing. I believe that's the future. And you know you can live here with a clean heart because you know your waste is treated, you don't waste energy, 
Yeah, sure. So you have always four apartments for floor. The ground floor apartments have a nice private yard outside. Um, so you can't do uh, apartment with prefab, correct? This now is yeah. So this technology, this is like you see, it's concrete, so, huh? Oh uh, yeah. This is simple structure, concrete columns and physics. Uh huh. Um, but we are doing at the moment research. And I hope we'll be ready this year, mid next, mid this year, to build the first prefab. Because big advantage is going to be, we'll use the core of the house. So this is going to be the inside. Then there's going to be parking left right here. Okay. Come in here. And in fact, there in the entrance, we're going to have some nice planters. So you don't walk into a dark hole, a dark entrance, you walk into light. Okay. And you will feel when you walk in here now how cool this also is Ooh. because it's also circular. All the roofs are built in the factory. All these roofs are fully insulated. Okay. Yeah, they're all made in the factory. Oh, they're all made in the factory, okay. And this is a three bedroom house. Very oh, wow. With the 60,000 that it has, also with nice windows, you know, and, uh, and then I can get a room. Mm. And then you come in. Um, you can see the window. Bedrooms are really it's so good. I love it. It's so light. Yeah, it's so big. When so, this house, this was, this was my least favorite. That's your least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, are the client be able to have their own solar panel, or you be providing the electricity? That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I want to get off grid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. That's right. It would be very interesting. It has to be solar and wind. Because before solar, we need backup of generator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, storage, batteries, generator, and grid. Are you planning to leave here? Yes, yes, yes absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> There's no place like this in Dutch. <laughs> I bought, oh, I, I bought three houses for one of each for one of my daughters. Oh wow! They bought a part, it's more apartment just to be my wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think this could take me I'm not sure. Oh, is that real? Third floor. One of these. No, wow. wow, that's amazing. That, that's that's truly amazing. Vacation retirement, that's perfect. I'm sure people will be renting uh, renting their properties and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we are now calculating that you can get everything. Is, the prices are based on the return of investment for every investment yeah. of at least 10%. Yeah. So you would need to rent this out for $250 to get your 10%. Per month. That's easy. Man. Very easy. So people are going to be quickly up to 20% return. Because at the moment, if you find an apartment, yeah, there is none. But if you find something similar, then you pay eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. That was super expensive. Okay, and then just one more thing. When we started selling these, and we're talking to the local community, oh, yeah. it's typically not used to go to multi-story buildings. I don't know how that is in Rwanda. Maybe they're more used to this. But few people typically live in the villages in like one-story houses. Okay. And they all have like a small, a small field where they put some cassava and some tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People said, you know, if we move in here, this is beautiful, but where are we going to grow our stuff? Yeah. So we designed Panima Gardens. <laughs> yeah. here. So everybody who moves in here gets a small garden. Oh, wow. And that's where we have our soil, our plants from the permaculture. That's where we're going to bring water from the sewer so you can garden, you have water for, for, for watering for free. <laughs> oh, amazing. How's the so I mean, but you, you, the soil is rich, you guys will be providing the... Now you'll see how fast this is, this is unbelievable. This is like, in terms of growing stuff, this is absolutely terrible. 
thinks got amazing view cards. That's interesting. Like we pack these bushes and it rains a little bit and we come back after four weeks, it's like that again. <laughs> Because the good thing is this, this if you put soil on coral, it's, it's very good because it drains so well. Okay. And this is now concrete. So this is 70,000. Oh, this is concrete. Okay. This okay. is not a concrete model. 70,000. And you have the transio here. You don't. This model doesn't have the high. It has high ceiling, but this works as the ventilation point because this is your outside room inside. If you imagine this is on the end, okay, that's why it's open. If another house would be here, you would have like an inner courtyard. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And it heats up. The air rises and pulls air through the house. And the chimney effect. <laughs> uh, engineering is impressive. Yeah, so this is an option board. Some of our Muslim clients want that, so when you enter the house, you can't see the kitchen. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, wow. And then we have the bedrooms. Oh, they choose their tree. Okay, okay. And that's the prefab also, right? How many bedroom? Is that that's the? the two that's the two bedroom. That's the, one we have. That's the for the fifty six. Uh, this is now fifty four. Fifty four thousand. Yeah, but this is already not after appreciation. This used to be forty five. This used to be forty five. Okay. My target is to build a house like this one. Thirty five. Thirty five. Yeah. Hey. Bathrooms. Also here you can open and close, like you see. So it's always ventilated. Like perfect. And the floor is that tiles? This is tiles. Huh? Okay. This is not. This is not. This is still for us technicians. This is a test house, and it's grown as shit now. So you see. Oh. <laughs> the new house is already much much better. Yeah. <laughs> and you have this small kitchen. You have the outside kitchen that like I showed you. Don't have this key. Yeah. And you have the pantry. Hundred and fifty seven. I was here there was nothing as big. Didn't want to move. Yeah. Wow. Let me show them. You can you can have fruits, you can have flowers, you have papaya, you have paprika, you have egg fruits. And this is basically you know in terms of town planning again now. This is my buffer zone between the community. 
commercial side. Yeah. Of back on that road, uh -huh. the main road, we're gonna have commercial supermarkets, at the station side. We're gonna have this green Basically, it's here. Oh, when wow. you drop your waste, every morning the, the town management comes in and brings clean, washed out bins that don't smell and take the orders. Every morning. So you drop your stuff and you meet your neighbor and you can have a shop. And you sit here and relax. So, this is a green room. Between each two blocks, you have a green room. That is a uh, green room. Okay. Okay. Design. okay. But then, once these people have moved in, Yeah, 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 yeah. This is like the, 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 the private green room of these two blocks. So again, you're using the space as additional living space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space. So, so your green room will be separating the waste, right? Uh, plastic. Uh, the room is the room two blocks. This is a block of houses. This is a block of houses. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And on the evenings, you just come here and explore the base. It's going to be completely clean. Mm. Constantly collecting, bringing clean bins. It's just point. And then you can have, you say, you know, you want some benches here, or you want some other one. And then you get friends coming over. Yeah. You can say they have the party party in front. They can okay. come. You can do your barbecue here. You can just go just around the corner to get some beers. It's really community based, yeah. But the waste you mentioned, that, that's the waste you mentioned that you collect and use yes, uh, organic waste. Yes. But well, what about plastic? Are you the recycling, the sorting it. Oh, so you'll be sorting. Yes, uh, we're sorting the training the whole team. We're sorting it, pressing it, selling it. And that's also you doing this yes. or another company? No, no you. We build a company to do it because there's no company here. So you're building the whole ecosystem basically. Yes. That's, that's, a, that's a massive project. That's now, if you do, if you rely on municipal to collect the waste, it's, I don't want to say much, but... <laughs> but we no, will, you don't have we to will, say it. We will it. bring them in. We will really work with them. To yeah, show yeah, them yeah, how yeah. this can work. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, no, this so, is... And, uh, the, and the waste is going to make money. Of course, yeah, eggs, yeah. The chicken, of course. the fruits, the compost. Once we have, because this is called rock, so we have a choice either to dig a big hole and get the soil from there or we produce our own soil. So we send it to produce our own soil. All the soil you see here is produced from oh, organic oh. waste. Yeah, 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 you did mention that. All the waste, all the soil here is yeah. from organic waste. So now all the bushes that were here, over there, we never burned anything. We, we cut it and we shredded it. We have proven shredder machines that we make. You know, it rains and then you have to and I think that's your... the biomass yes. and, and and this is by the way to me this is the, the highest selling point of what you're doing because besides the prefab and all those things a lot of time is builders just build but there's no ecosystem to, yeah. to, to deal with waste and all those things which is a big problem in Africa um, and I've, I've yet to see anybody who actually incorporated waste management into the the, the development they do. It's waste management, it's security, it's street cleaning, it's landscaping. We have all the keys. So everybody here has to pay a dollar per square meter living space per month. Which makes for the services. Yeah. And it also includes the government lease you have to pay per year for the the lease because you own the plot. Oh so you, you do own the plot. You do own the plot. Okay. So you have to pay a lease to the government. But that's all but I said I will be responsible for that. Okay. And so they pay to them, you and to the service fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, power management, everything is paid to us. So uh, we're training them in front of the first cutting the bushes and stuff with one heap. Yeah. And now we're upscaling the project still all by hand because the idea is that whatever we do can be copied by anybody that we have around other than a machine. There's one shredder. For 5,000 euros at the moment, the rest is all done by hand. So what we did is we, we wanted want the community to be able to copy it. Yes, there's so the more technology you have, there's the less you can be copied. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so they mix by hand and all those things? Yeah, yeah so what I do... And the trading jobs. Yes. 
because the idea is to have an impact on our villages and yeah. also to address the area of burning organic waste. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. So you see charcoal powders, meats, cow shit, sawdust, all stuff from our... From our uh, That's the finished compost. Yes, it gets straight down every uh, four days, and at the end you get very, very uh, uh, rich soil. Uh, the micro, uh, the charcoal are the housing for the microorganisms and bacteria. Yeah. So when we later add that stuff to our plantings, we add all the starter treatments for the help that we bring the nutrition to the plant. Oh wow! Yeah. So around to slow down the wind, we planted 48 bamboo plants, which will come up and then slow down the wind. That bamboo we can then also use for fencing and building, or we can sell it to the fishermen to use it for their sales, oh. their galavas. This will give us roughly $5,000 a year to cover some of the costs of the composting area. We also want to see how fast does the bamboo can grow. So we're planting bananas, like you can see there, papayas with it. Yeah, yeah. They're kind of giving the shade for the young bamboo to come out. Oh. Then we use these banana stems. So the bananas we sell or eat our stuff. The banana stems, we're going to sh uh, shredder and we feed it to worms, which are building again worm, fasting worm compost fast, which we can use again to make compost tea to inject our landscape with these uh, microorganisms and bacteria that we need to bring the nutrition to the plant. So it's kind of a natural way of training them of uh, how to do that. And then now we're going to level it a bit better. There's going to be movable chicken houses. We're going to have chicken letting us to burn the compost, to, to mix the food base, yeah, 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 yeah. Us, pick out all the fly larvas, organic eggs, organic meats, to sell to our staff and made them also to the city. So kind of finding natural tools that we started separating our own waste, we base 15 homes since about a year. We are separating it, we are packing it into containers so when they later look at us, how much do we have or what, what we see to we new meat, contacting, gathering or whatever for us to sell it. So we started simple with a tent so we could move it around. You know, if you have a building, you will like, you restrict that this will move now. Now we're building two containers, a roof's going to go out, all of this is going to become composting and soil building because we build a floor rock. So we, we, need to, we need to kind of create the organic matters we want to build the landscape of the city ourselves because it is illegal to move soil and sand from one spot to the other. Oh. Everybody does it, there's no industry. So we hope we can create an industry that are collecting all organic waste, yeah, yeah, yeah. turn it into fertilizer. This is, this is business. Yeah. No, no, no. How much do we sell the bag now? Uh, we sell about $10 for 50 kilo bag. And, they, and you get the stuff you basically need. And then yeah, you sell farmers and all that. Yeah, yeah. And the idea is that they can do all of it. The idea is that they can copy that model all over the east coast for all the hotels that can bring all the food base later we only in stage one now the next thing is going to bring all the food base from the city and later on we can add machinery and later and then all, yes and then all the sawdust from the factory and then all the pruning from the landscape and then we'll make this out of it and then feed the landscape again and it's going to get better and better and better and better that's, yes, that's so awesome This was a great educational trip. Uh, I was lucky enough to see one of the best eco housing uh, system that uh, was in Zanzibar. And um, the, the key thing that some of you guys may not have seen on the video, for example, is the recycling system that uh, uh, they had on the ecosystem. So everything is recycled. They grow their own food, so it's all sustainable. It's all built within the community. The price range from the one bedroom go from thirty thousand all the way to one hundred and sixty thousand for the front beach uh, condominium that they have. So it's it's very uh, it, it's the only inclusive and sustainable community housing system that I've seen. Uh, on the continent, at least in, in East Africa, um, where everything is built in together. Uh, 
um, the way it's designed, they're going to have a hospital or a school. So I, I hope you've seen that. And the link of the the, the website for that, for, for that company will be uh, somewhere down below. Check them out. And if you have any questions, put, put some comments below on the on our YouTube channel. You can send me an email. This is it. Leaving Zanzibar has been a very interesting uh, journey. Catch you on the next trip and hopefully you learn something else that I'll be sharing. <laughs>